from the famous old Sumeb mine Namibia pre-1982. 1982 or pre-1982, a dollar might cost with a difference. Now, this kind of crystallization on the dollar might I don't often encounter. More almost like an aragonite. Now, note a calcium carbonate. Dolomite technically is an aragonite as well. So on this side, we have an aragonite form, almost a botryoidal form. There you have the telltale crust of the cast. And then when we look at this side, we actually think we're looking at a totally different specimen. Now, here is something pretty interesting. There's some redness here, which could be some chalcotrichite inclusion in the calcites. Of course, the cast would, have, would be made up of, say, aragonite, dolomite, and calcite, all being pretty much the same thing. Um, so the calcite would, would portray a more cubic form as you'd see across the back here. With the red inclusion, of course, could be iron oxide staining the calcites. Um, I always, when I see the reds, I always hope to find the elusive chalcotrichite, which would be the fibrous variety of cupra trapped inside some of these crystals. All the way from the Tsumeb mine Namibia, um, from a display point of view, pretty versatile. Uh, so if it's lying flat, we'd have this a little bit of projection of the main ore with the little uh, stalagmite, stalactites of the uh, 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 dolomite or camaragonite. And then when we have it the other way around, we have this. Also a little bit of a, a variation in angle over there. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit closer. I think you can actually zoom into my still pictures. I'm going to enjoy looking at this one under magnification. Uh, both sides seem pretty perfect. So, so actually, I don't see any contact anywhere on this piece. Of course, on the, on the edges where it would have been sitting with the mother matrix, uh, we'd find some contact. 